how, how easily masses of people can be swayed. And we saw that on Sunday with Moses, right? Moses, a great man, a man of God that, that did so many great things and was just a servant to the people and was there to only do good and to help people, yet, you know, Korah, Dathan, and Byram were able to just persuade almost the entire congregation of people. There's so many people that were just pitted against Moses and against Aaron. And, and they just went along with it, right? And now we see here, this, well, this is an example, it's, it's referring to the story with David, right? David was a king of the people. When David was, was uh, you know, under Saul and under Saul's reign and under Saul's rule, he was gained favor with all the people. They, you know, Saul had killed his thousands and, and David his ten thousands and people really, you know, looked up to David. They had respect for David, for his integrity. He was able to go out to war. He was a mighty warrior. And people looked up to David and respected him. And he judged righteously. Yes, he had his sins. Yes, he had his faults. But overall, I mean, he was not, so, he was not some tyrant. He wasn't someone that people just, just would have this problem with. But what happened was he had a wicked son that was talking in the ears of all the people and turning their hearts against David for a long time, unbeknownst to David as David's ruling, these people were coming and Absalom's getting to him first. Absalom's coming in and, and talking in their ear and saying, oh, you know, well, if I were king, and he, he was able to accumulate by, by his backbiting and his gossiping and spreading all this, this nonsense, this junk in people's ears and, and turning people against David, he was actually able to convince enough people to yoke up with him and side up with him and do this coup and, and usurp the authority temporarily over David. And obviously from David's perspective, he wasn't doing anything wrong. He didn't deserve to have his son come and, and usurp his authority and cast him out of the kingdom and stuff. So he's trying to do what's right, and he has to just look to the Lord in his time of distress. And in the end, what happens? Everything turns back around, and God's able to restore, bring David back, and everything ends up working out. But in the middle of these situations, it looks really bad. It looks really bleak. We need to be able to apply this to our own lives. And the first application, and this isn't, none, this isn't even in my notes. We're going to get into all the verses, but it just kind of stands out, especially with this story of Absalom, with everything that I've been preaching on. You know, watch out for the people who are really trying to affect your mind's evil against men of God. That's why the Bible puts the, the conditions of, you know, receiving accusations against elders before two or three witnesses and, and dealing with it appropriately and hey everything needs to be up in, in, in the open and none of this just just talking about people because there's a lot of damage that's done by that people end up talking oh did you hear this oh what do you think about this and it's always what do you think what do you think what do you think and then it just spreads around to everybody instead of just stopping and going hey what are we what are you talking about here right, right? let's not deal with this stuff and in David's case Everyone's talking about Absalom, 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 Absalom. And before you know it, they don't want anything to do with David. They're ready to go full force for Absalom. And it's the same way with Moses. It's the same way with so many other men of God that are doing what's right. They're making the stand. But you know what they didn't do, though, these guys? They didn't have to defend themselves. They trusted in God to be their defense. They trusted in God to take care of them to make sure that they wouldn't be harmed, that they wouldn't, you know, that whatever happens, hey, I'm going to trust in the Lord to be my defense, to be my shield, okay? And then on top of that, they trusted in God to do the judgment too. And what we saw in Moses' case, you know, God did the, God opened up the pits of hell, right? God caused the wicked people to go straight to hell, but then Moses still had a heart for the people, 